Okay, so in this video you're going to see where the factorials come into this. A six letter password can be made using each of the letters P, Q, R, X, Y and Z once. How many arrangements are there? And what is the probability of somebody guessing a password made up in this way? Okay, so if we've got six choices to start off with, okay, because if I'm going to type in my new password, I've got six letters to choose from to start off with. So I've got six choices. And then for each of those afterwards, so the first letter's been put in, uh, then I've got five choices left. So if I put in five, uh, in P rather, I've got five choices left. And so that means that there are 20 different combinations in that case. Once I've put in two letters, I then have four choices remaining. And then once I've put in three letters, I have three choices remaining. And then two choices, and then one choice. Okay? So in actual fact, there are 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, so 6 factorial different combinations, okay, or uh, different arrangements rather in this case. So 6 factorial, you should be able to find the factorial button just above your x to the minus 1 button on the Casio 991 ES Plus or on regular Casio, so just, above, just below the mode button. So you've got to press shift and then that button to get it. And so you should find it's 720. So there are 720 possible arrangements of this password. Now, what is the probability of somebody guessing a password made up in this way? Well, that would be 1 out of 720. Okay? So 1 out of 720 is, well, my calculator's given it as in standard form which would be 0 0.00138 recurring. Okay, so in actual fact that would be uh, less, so it's like 0.138%. So it's uh, just 0.1 of a percent. So quite unlikely, but if this was um, a website and uh, this was the password for it, then there's not really that many different arrangements to try, okay? So you wouldn't think it was actually very secure. But this is how we can calculate it in this context. It all, what you will find is that with each of these problems, you've got to read the question very, very carefully, okay? So the point that only the letters can only be made uh, used once is very important here.